Release the Kraken! Welcome back, fellow game designers. Ron here at Lame Duck Studios. Now, in the previous tutorial, we went ahead and made these uh, pop up text actors. So, this one uses the actor, this one uses um, a widget, right? Uh, but what I didn't go over is how to assign the text value to it. So both of them are very similar. So I'm going to go ahead and tackle them both in the same video. It's actually pretty easy. So whatever um, actor is dealing the damage, that's who you're going to get the damage from. I'm just going to have a, a damage value on the player and pass that to the receiving actor. So I'm going to go ahead and open up my player blueprint. I'm going to add a variable called damage. Oops. I'll make that a float. You can make it whatever you want it to be. Pilot. And then in here, I'm going to put you know, 100, whatever the damage is going to be. All right, so the actor, let's go ahead and do this for um, my actor to receive text. That's going to be one that I'm damaging. So I got him. And then on this overlap, I'm going to get a reference to whatever's hitting it. So I'm going to cast to a third person character in this case. Assuming my character is the only one that can deal damage, I'll just plug him into here. So my character is the only other actor that can do this. I'm going to get the damage. So get damage. And I want to pass this, sorry, I want to pass this to my actor. Now what's kind of cool is we can create this on spawn. So let's go back and open that actor up. So my uh, spawner, make a new variable, I'm going to call this um, uh, text to uh, display. Change the type. Let's do it as text. You can do it as as a string or a name or whatever you want to do it as. Uh, I will ex uh, poke the eyeball and expose on spawn. Uh, we're going to set it in the beginning here. So on begin play, we're going to take my text to render. Uh, set text. Plug that in. Plug it in. Take my text to display. Plug that in. Little OCD on the cleanup. Okay, I'll compile that. So this will get the text to display, and we'll have that passed into our uh, actor here. Hit compile, and you can see we have our text to display. If this doesn't pop up, um, sometimes it takes a second, and you can hit none, and then reassign it. So text. Uh, spawner, and when it respawns in here, it'll display it. And I'm going to pass this into text to display. Okay, compile it and play. So now when I hit this ink, it gets the text from you know the actor, and that'll work the other way. So if I grab my text widget, and then in here. I'm going to select my text. I'm going to make that a variable, so it is variable. Let's go to the graph, and you can see our pop-up text is here. Go ahead and drag that in. You get pop-up text. We're going to set it. So set text. Come down. We're going to set the text for our text. Plug it in. And then you can see it has an in text. Just like we did for the other one, we're going to create a variable for it. So variable, we'll do this. We'll just call this text. Yeah, whatever you want to name it. Poke the eyeball, come down to expose on spawn. And let's change this type to text. Compile it. I'm going to drag this variable in, like so. Compile that. Let's go back to the um, actor to receive text. We're going to use the same 
thing that calls to the player. Let's go ahead and break the link here. Break this one. I'm going to move this down to this one here. Remember that this one spawns the actor, this one spawning the widget. And then down in here, we're going to plug this in. Now, once again, if you don't see this pop in on the widget, just reload it. Uh, <clears throat> plug it in, plug it in. Compile it. Let's go ahead and test it. And if I walk over to the widget, there it is. You can see the 100 popping up. All right, so that's a, a quick way of passing the value into the pop-up text for either the actor or the widget. Hopefully you found this educational, and I shall see you in the next one. Hey, guys. Thanks for checking out my channel. Misty and I both thank you. If you've enjoyed the video you just watched, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe. Also, if you have any uh, comments or suggestions for future videos, make sure you leave them down in the comments. I upload new content every, every Sunday, and I uh, release content every Wednesday. Also, if you'd like to support the channel, I do have a Patreon. Um, get content early. I also have official merch, Lame Duck Studio merch. It does exist. They do exist. So make sure you stick around for anything new, and I will see you next time.